What's good everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we have finally entered the final quarter of the year. The time that people like to call spooky season because we have got Halloween and the Day of the Dead right after one another. So I thought that I would share some spooky reads that I really love and really adore because all of this fall vibe just feels good. The time to read all of these spooky books. So here's a list. First up on the list, we have one of the most iconic horror stories ever told and it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. This book is mainly creepy and it is this book's popularity that has led to its several translations that have been done over the years. And in several ways, this book has influenced our pop culture and our society. The very idea of vampires and vampire-like creatures has been ingrained in our minds because of Dracula. It is one such book that I believe everyone should read and have an experience of reading at least once in their lifetime. But if you haven't read it, I would suggest that this spooky season is the best time for you to pick it up. So definitely check that out. Next up, we have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Written in 1818, this book is one of the most popular books ever written. And you should definitely check this out. Over the past few centuries, Hollywood has made several adaptations of this book and till date, the book remains eternal. The story follows a mad scientist, Victor Frankenstein, who takes up the unprecedented task of bringing back the dead and the several horrors that follow. If you haven't read this book, please do yourself a favor and pick it up. It is one of those books that you are going to love and you won't forget for life. Now, is this book the scariest book that I've ever read? Definitely not. But I read this book in my degree course and it's one of those books that will stay with you for a really long time. And it's a classic. I think that you should definitely check this out. And if you think classics is not your favorite genre, I would suggest you to read Frankenstein because this is one of the greatest entry points for you to get into the habit of reading classics. So definitely check this out. Moving on, on number three, we have Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. So this book is mainly creepy. Even if you don't feel it initially, it eventually gets creepy as you keep on reading it. So in this book, we follow our protagonist who moves to a new place and this place has a pet cemetery. However, he's warned that he should not bury his pets over there because of creepy reasons. Because whenever pets are buried over there, things don't go quite right. It definitely is a compelling story. It touches upon various themes. And if you think this book might be for you, definitely check this out this spooky season. Next up, we have The Shining. And by now, you all must have watched the movie. And if you haven't, check this out. And definitely read the book before you watch the movie. Because the feel of the book is a bit different than in the movie. And some aspects are not quite explored in the movie. That's what I personally feel. So in this book, we follow the Torrance family and the father, Jack, is hired to take care of the Overlook Hotel, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. And it is winter time and they get snowed in the hotel and things start going quite wrong. Only a disclaimer, this book has a great detail. Everything has been described in a great detail, very great precision. So if that's something that doesn't bother you, definitely check this out. So if longer books and novels intimidate you, don't worry because I've got you covered. This next book that is Robert Louis Stevenson's Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde should be the best book for you. This short novella talks about how every person has two sides to their personality, the angel and the devil. And no matter how much we focus on the angel, the devil side just shows up instinctively. So this book is a definite classic and you should read it. So I won't say much about this book and spoil it for you, but it's a very quick and easy read. You will breeze through it very easily. It's a very short novella. So if any of the books that I've mentioned in this video interest you, definitely check them out. And the spooky season is here. What are you reading for this spooky season? What books have you read? If you have any book recommendations, drop them in the comment section. I would love to read those books. So those were my spooky book recommendations. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because 
there are more videos coming up and what are you reading in this spooky season just drop it in the comment section and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye